Hey, good morning, it's Heidi Hardy, and um, this is DFW Spotlight on Business. We are live on Facebook. Um, today's um, episode of DFW Spotlight on Business features Scott Sherwin, who is the president of Sales Mastery. Our topic today is why salespeople fail. And I thought it was really, um, well, I thought it was a really interesting topic, mostly because I do get to talk to a lot of business owners and these business owners all have a couple of the same issues one of those issues is sales and business development business development is well it's all-encompassing there's a lot of, of different moving parts in a business uh, whether you're a corporation fortune 100 fortune 500 corporation or you're a small business or, or a startup Building business and, and having a, a good solid sales pipeline is, is critical to the health and the profitability of a business. So don't forget to tune in today from three to four. Uh, we will talk about why some salespeople fail. And at the end of the day, um, there I'm not I'm not a big fan of the F word fail, but I do understand uh, the message that we're trying to relay. And as being a salesperson or business development professional for almost two decades myself, I know that there are some challenges. Um, I think the biggest challenge, and, and I really want uh, those who will share this video and who watch a video and maybe pass it on to a business owner or someone who is trying to build a sales um, team or a sales pipeline to know that the hardest part about business development is going to be getting in front of enough people, talking to enough people so that one out of every 100 or one out of every 10, whatever the ratio is, has an opportunity to know what you do and how you might help them. So that it for me is the number one most difficult thing about being in sales or owning a business. I've owned a business and, and keeping that sales engine going is a, is a critical part of the success of owning any business or running any sales organization. So what do you do? How do you get out there and, and build, be, build a bigger pipeline, become better at your sales um, um, opportunities? Because even though it's a cliche, there really is some truth to the thought that the more people you talk to, the more likely you're going to get somebody who does need and want your help. Um, so there are just a couple of things that I will mention today. One is networking. And one of my videos in the past talked about networking and how important that is. Networking is a slow drip. It is one of those things that um, won't produce results. So if you need sales next month, if you need sales this week, networking is not going to be um, that solution. Uh, the other thing that you could do is uh, is really prospect. And um, that's either get yourself a list of businesses and, and um, find out, uh, do some research on those businesses, call the businesses, see if you can set up an appointment to visit with them. Um, the other part of prospecting could be just going to um, a few businesses that are near where you're maybe a client is or maybe uh, near a place where you do network and, and walk in and say hello. Uh, a lot of businesses don't like to be bothered in the middle of the day by solicitors, but there are some business owners and some businesses that, that don't mind answering the door and hearing what you have to say. And it's just a matter of being brave enough to do that. So there's two things that you could do if you need sales right away. Um, and also, like I said, networking is a great way to do it in a sort of drip marketing way. Uh, the last thing that I will mention is kind of a bonus is, is doing this. Take a minute out of your week and give people the expertise that you have. Help them understand what you do. So I'm going to take just a few seconds. I work for a company called Insperity. We help companies with HR, payroll, and employee benefits. And the more companies I talk to, employee benefits is scary. 
there the, the cost has gone up there's a lot going on in our economy and in our in our country when it comes to employee health care so if you just want to talk to somebody about that somebody like me who I do want to offer my services, but more importantly, I want to be a resource to my colleagues and, and businesses in my community. Uh, then let's get together. Let's have a cup of coffee. Let me bring coffee to your office. Uh, my email is Heidi.Hardy at Insperity.com and I'm thrilled and happy to help you navigate through some of those questions if you're a business owner or if you're somebody that helps run a business. This is Heidi Hardy. This is the DFW Spotlight on Business V blog. And uh, don't forget to tune in today from 3 to 4 p.m. There is a link um, on my Facebook post and it's podcitypodcast.com. Go there and you will be able to listen live or you can go to our archives and you go to Real Life Media LLC to check Check out the, the link for the archives. Thanks, guys. Have a prosperous, productive, and joy-filled day. This is Heidi Hardy with DFW Spotlight on Business. Thanks.